Hey everyone, let's talk about picrete. Picrete is an ice alloy. It's made by combining water with sawdust, or in my case, wood shavings, and then freezing it. And by combining the two, you get an increase in strength and also an increase in longevity over the ice by itself. Here's an example. This is ice. And this is picrete. My producer, Cat, is yelling at me. Okay, based on my research on the internet, picrete was usually made by combining water and sawdust in a ratio of about six to one by weight. Now, I had done a small batch a few days ago measuring it out and I was surprised at how much sawdust there was to water just visually. But what it did was it gave me a feel for the what the texture of the unfrozen material should be so I'm not going to measure out weights for the next making here I'm just gonna do it by touch so what I've got in this bucket is I filled it up about two-thirds of the way with wood shavings just like this and then I completely submerged it in water and it's been in here for about half hour 45 minutes so what I'm gonna do is just take this out and put it into my ice molds here that I usually use for water. It's just a silicone spherical mold. And we'll freeze them up and see if we can make some good pie creek projectiles. Stand up for a minute here. And yeah, with the with the picrete, it turns into a big sloppy mess. It actually looks quite similar to sauerkraut. But let me get one of my molds here. Let me get the tops on. This part will be easier without the chair. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not sure if the camera's picking this up. I'm gonna Take the wood here and I just want to get it so that most of the water has dripped out of it because this stuff's pretty saturated. And that was about the consistency that my earlier trial of this showed me that what we're looking here is for a little more than damp, but not absolutely dripping wet. Just like that. We'll jump to the... And what I did before was... Once I take this inside, and just before I put it in the freezer, what I'll do is in the top there, I put in just, uh, just a little bit more water. And I think what, what could be done is put them in the freezer. I might give this a try at some point. Put them in the freezer just for a little bit. You know, maybe you can see the water coming down through the top there. I like that one better. That's much fuller than this one was. But this is only my second time making it, so this is still kind of experimental.
but like I was saying, just drop a little bit more water in there just to make sure that this the volume inside the molds here is as filled up as possible with whatever whether it's sawdust, wood shavings, or water, just that we have as much material in there as possible. And you can see this stuff is a pretty messy process in general. But as you saw from the that initial test video, it does seem to give us some additional strength. One more point that I'll make on this, when I make ice with these molds, through the top, it, I mean, it, has, a, it has a fill line, but through the top it always has a little bit of spillover. With the piecrete on the initial one that I did, I did not have that spillover. So these kind of just stayed stayed at about the same volume. I'm sure there was a little expansion, but I wasn't able to see it. All right, but there's four. I'm gonna go ahead and get these finished up and get them in the freezer. Uh, I might record a little short segment once uh, when I'm pulling them out, just to give a look there. But uh, that's it, and then hopefully this weekend, weather permitting, we'll actually give them a throw and see what it looks like. Cheers.